Hello everyone, I am Tamika Miles. Welcome to LJ's Kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to LJ's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tamika Miles. We are here with our second segment with Miss Sky and Miss Mr. Seven. Hi. Say hi to everyone. Hi. So right now we are going to do something a little bit more intricate. And I think I chose kids to do this because I think they can handle it. You guys can handle this, right? Yes. Can you talk up? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. All right. So Woo! we are going to do uh, uh, bra uh, broiled salmon. And this is our salmon here. And we have some shrimp that we're going to saute and we're going to sear some scallops up. And we're going to have that with some jasmine rice. And, and we are going to so. have some Swiss chard. How many people know what Swiss chard is? Do you know what Swiss chard is? Do you like no. spinach? No. You no. don't like spinach? I think you'll like Swiss chard because you, you're going to help me make it. Okay, Seven? Yeah. All right. So, Sky, you. Sky, you're definitely going to help me. We're going to season this. And we're going to mm. season this salmon with some cedar citrus seafood seasoning. So I'm going to get you to sprinkle this all over the fish. Okay. It's already open. Oh. Okay. So you're going to sprinkle, sprinkle it up high. There you go. Higher. Okay. 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 Got to put some muscle in it. Muscle, muscle in, it. in it. Let me see. Let me help you out. It's hard to, you got to shake it. Oh. All right. So I'm going to shake some more on there. Shake and then it. We're going to get shake some it. Shake it. garlic powder. Mmm. So. I love garlic. You love garlic? Yes, I love it. All right, shake it up higher. Whoop, not that much, but that's okay. <laughs> and then we are going to get one more thing. I want to get some pepper. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't actually like Here peppers. You don't like peppers? But, so yeah. I'm going to do this because it's a little hard to turn. All right. There you go. That's plenty. So we're just gonna Plenty. rub this in. Can you rub, rub it in? in? Yeah, she yes. washed, we have clean hands. She washed her hands. We're gonna mm. rub this in. Mm. And then we're gonna flip it over. Flip it over. And then we are gonna take here. I'll share my towel with you. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> she yuck. <said> yuck. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna season this side up really quick. Ew. Yep. That's just the silver skin. It's, I got the skin taken off of the fish. No, this is a little. It's, it's okay. All right, and some more garlic powder. Garlic. 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 And some black pepper. Black pepper. So we didn't use any salt for this. I really want to taste the flavor. I want flavors. to like, like black pepper. pepper. Huh? I don't. She doesn't like pepper. I really want to taste the flavor of the fish. So we're going to put this, transfer this. Into there. Yes. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. We're going to rub this in. Rub this in. Rub it in. Rub it all in. All right. And transfer it. Let's flip it over this way. All right. Flip it all And then we're going to put it in a hot, a really, really hot oven. Here, I'll share my. You can have it, okay? Yay. This, and we're going to put this in a really hot oven. I'm going to slice. I think we can slice a lemon in this. Yay. I love slicing lemons. And then we're just going to Can I squeeze the, it on? We're actually just going to sit it in here just like this. Oh. That's it. All right. We're going to take this away. Your hands all nice and clean. Yeah. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Lemons are in. And we are just going to let this go for about 20 minutes. Okay. In a hot 400 degree oven. What about the hot? What about the um, lemon? The lemons are going to roast with the salmon. Yeah, but aren't they gonna get juicier yes. and, and sourier? Yeah, and more sour. sour. So then we're gonna take the, take the salmon out and we're gonna squeeze, squeeze the juicy lemons, the lemons all over the I salmon. knew it. You knew squeeze it. Squeeze it. All right, squeeze so it. let's <laughs> talk about a little bit about lemons. school. What do you like to do in school? Mm. Anything in particular? Mostly free time, lunch, snack. Free time, lunch, and snack. Hey, guess what? I think those are my favorite um, in school too. My favorite Kids subjects. Kids love free time. Kids love free time. What about you, Seven? Um, 
No, we go to the like same any, school. You don't like anything about school? You like gym? Huh? Yeah. No, yeah, well that's that's a sport. We that's a, the a same class. School. You, 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 and we have the same schedule. You have the same schedule and the same school? Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. What do you do? You have a business of your own. Um, I sell t-shirts for skateboarding and boogieboarding and everything. I'm going to ask uh, Seven to uh, give us an example of how, like, one of your t-shirts, what do they look like? Who um, buys your, no, who buys your t-shirts? Look at people, the camera and tell people who buys. Just buy. people are leaving. Okay. So you said they're for gaming? Um, skateboarding. skateboarding. Why did you start your t-shirt business? Because I wanted to show that black boys do that too. Okay. So you wanted to show that black boys are able to have their own business and they can be creative, just as creative as anyone else. That's awesome. Okay, so before you guys go and I finish up this meal for us, uh, I want to ask Miss Sky a question. Are you going to be able to give us a poem? Yes. All right, so I want you to look right there and I want you to belt out your most favorite poem that you recite. Um, this is a poem made from Kelty Column and it's called Hey Black Child. Hey, black child, do you know who you are, who you really are? Do you know where you're going, where you're really going? Do you, do you know that you are strong? I mean, really strong. Do you know that you can do what you want to do? If you try to do what you can do. Hey, black child, do you know that you can learn? What you want to learn, if you try to learn, what you, what you can learn. Hey, black child, do you know that you can learn? What you want to learn, if you try to learn, what you, what you can learn. Hey, black child, do, do what you can do, learn what you can learn, and tomorrow your nation will be what you want it to be. Yay, we love that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that, sharing that with us. You all, every time I hear that, I get emotional about that because I, I saw you do that one other time somewhere and I was just, it was just out of this world. Are you crying? No, not this time. The first time I heard you, no, I did. No, you cry? Yes, I did cry the first time. And I put you on my Facebook too. Yay! <laughs> so I'm finally on Facebook. You're finally on Facebook. So we're going to say bye to these guys for now. And I'm going to show you the rest of this meal. And I'm going to finish it up really quick for you guys. Say bye for now. Bye. So we are just going to add some olive oil to our hot pan. Some EVOO. Now, I do this two ways. Sometimes I put butter in and sometimes I just want the freshness of the olive oil. And I have some shallots. Let me let you see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to I slice them this way, horizontally. And now I'm just going to go down vertically. Just to give it a nice chop. All right, so we're gonna add these shallots, these chopped shallots to our pan. I really like this dish because it gives, um, Swiss chard is a, a lot of people don't eat it, but we grew up eating this all the time. And it's big and leafy. However, I just usually take the stem off like such, and then I kind of just roll it and give it a nice chop, like you would spinach. And once these shallots cook down just a little bit, you just want to get a nice saute on them. 
I still think I want to add a little butter because it just gives me a little bit more flavor. Just a little bit. And you don't have to do butter if you don't want. I don't want any letters of people saying, oh, she put so much butter in there. And then I'm going to also add some, some garlic. Fresh garlic, if you want to use garlic paste. Or if, also if you want to use um, garlic, uh, minced garlic, I don't particularly like. Unless I do it myself because I just don't like the way the jarred garlic tastes. So I like to chop it up myself or... Or if you have to use garlic paste. So I'm just getting a nice saute on those shallots until they get translucent. And then I'll add my Swiss chard. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. This is my first time really using this. I wanted to use this instead of the stove so you guys could be in with this. So I have some that's already chopped up and I'm just going to add the rest. Now this cooks up and it's, when I tell you this is three bunches, this cooks up and it's like hardly nothing in a pan. So make sure you get enough because somebody's going to uh, be mad if they miss out on this dish. So I'll let that cook down a bit and then I will add more to the pan. But it cooks, it's, to me, it's very mild tasting than a, than a collard green. It's more mild tasting than a collard green, but it cooks up like a spinach, so I really enjoy it. While that's going, I'm gonna start with my scallops. We are gonna sear these scallops off. Remember, we have a salmon in the oven, so we're gonna accompany the salmon with um, some seared scallops and sauteed uh, shrimp. And I have a little bit of crab meat left over, so I'm going to use that. Guys, use what's in your pantry. So I'm just going to chop this parsley up now. So we're going to use the parsley later. So while I'm over at the stove, I don't have to do this step. This is already done. Okay, perfect. While these are cooking down, the Swiss chard is cooking down, we are going to use some extra fine flour and we are going to um, sprinkle them on one side of our scallops and then we are going to sear these in a really hot pan with some uh, olive oil. Just on one side. Just for a couple of minutes. Even though cooking is my passion, I am a hairstylist by nature. Um, I've been in the industry for 30 years and I love doing hair. I love what I do. I am a healthy hair care specialist. I am a master stylist and I've owned my own business journey hair salon for 12 years now. And I'm able to get um, some awesome people in, in my salon just um, being able to work with a lot of natural uh, hair styling. 90% of our clients are uh, relaxer free clients and um, I do a lot of natural hair styling. So uh, I do other things too, uh, other than natural hair styling. We do relaxers, we do lots of color. We are big on color. So these scallops are just about done. I'm giving them one turn. I'm gonna let them cook for about they're not that thick, so I'm gonna let them cook for about a minute and a half on each side. And they have a nice little uh, crust on them. Okay, so I sauteed up the scallops and they have a nice, let me show you, a nice caramelly color on them. See, on both sides. And then I went in and started sauteing some shrimp. And what I'm gonna do as I plate this, you see my Swiss chard is just about done. It's almost cooked down just perfectly. 
I'm gonna take my salmon out, but I wanna make a little sauce with these pan juices. So I'm just gonna put a little parsley and orange juice in with this. Let it reduce down for a few minutes. And then we'll have a great sauce to add with our sauteed shrimp and scallops. Remember I said I don't like my, I don't like my um, crab meat broken up. So what I'm gonna do with this crab meat, I'm gonna add this in to the reduction of the orange juice and the parsley so that it can just kind of marinate and have the flavors in with the parsley. So we're not gonna need, we're not gonna need to stir that too much. Let's see, let's check on our Swiss chart. As you can see it, it's starting to cook in its own juices and it cooks up just like spinach. We have shallots in there. Now sometimes you wanna make a little cream sauce with it. People wanna put cheese in it and all of that kind of stuff. That's fine, you can add cheese to it, but I really want some richness and freshness of the vegetable, we don't eat enough vegetables anyway. We're gonna take our salmon out. Should just be about ready. Looks pretty good. Just gonna take some lemon and just squeeze that lemon that we already had in there over the salmon. Careful not to get any seeds on it though, like I just did. Pan juices are good. We can actually turn this off. Swiss chard is done. Our sauce is just about reduced. No, don't break. Okay, so we have our Swiss chard. We're just gonna put it in this nice bowl. Like I said, Swiss chard is like a really mild green, but it cooks up like a spinach. That's the way I describe it. We grew up eating it. Just some shallots, a little butter, some olive oil, and our salmon and scallop. Just gonna finish it off with a little bit of parsley, some jasmine rice. How does that look? I know I've used parsley for everything. And then I'm gonna take our juices, our pan drippings. So this just has some garlic in it some crab meat. I'm gonna put this right on, the crab meat right on top of our salmon. Put a couple of shrimp there. And scallops. And that is dinner tonight. What do you guys think? Some Swiss chard, salmon, jasmine rice with scallop and shrimp. That's what's for dinner tonight. Woo! Guess what, guys? You can bring conversations back to the table just like I did tonight. I hope you enjoyed this segment. And until our next, 
I want you to hit that like button and that share button. And also, don't forget, cook with your family, cook with your kids in the kitchen, and bring conversation back to the kitchen. Bye for now.